Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode from the Wildcraft server. And I've been very busy because as you saw from the intro, I sorted out all my villagers. And this took like 9 hours, but I'm very glad I did this because now I can get every single enchantment. So that means that I can be setting up a shop soon. But as we probably can't do that today, I'm going to let all the other members know that they can come to this warehouse here and they can just buy any enchantment they want for two diamonds. There we go. And I think at the end of the episode, we'll check around again and maybe we've got a little more diamonds. But the best part of this place isn't all the enchantments. It's the fact that if I buy some glass from these guys, then I can go downstairs and turn it all into glass panes. And I can sell it back to these guys. There we go. And as you can see, I made a ton of emeralds from this. But there's another thing I've done in between episodes. And it's this. And although this doesn't look like much, this is a complete gold farm. Really easy to build and probably one of the most efficient ones out there. The way it works is that the pigmen, they just come through the portal. And then I can stand here, and I can just hit them. But down here is where the actual magic happens. So there's two spawning layers, and the zombified pigmen will just spawn up here. Because this is the only spot in the nether where mobs can spawn. Then they'll go to the portal, and they'll go inside it. And then in the overworld, there's another portal that links up to the portal at the top over here. It's designed by enx 4 so I'll put a link to his tutorial in the description. Anyway, that aside, William has asked me to create him some custom models. So I created this pickaxe, a sword, and a nice hat. So uh, let's pay him a visit and see what he thinks. Hello? Uh, hello? Where are you? Oh, hello. Yeah, Hello. I, got, I got you your custom models. What do you think? Nice. Ooh, that Ooh, hat looks a... stylish. Yes. Your whole head is bleeding right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for doing this for me. Is it okay that I can give more hats away? Because I gave one to Enmity. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, well, uh, see ya. Well, bye. Bye. But now that we've got that out of the way, I think it's time to start working on our base again. Because, as you can see, it's been oxidizing real quick. So, we need some honey wax to solve that. And the only way you can get that is through bees. So let's get some silk touch on our axe and uh, grab some beehives. Okay, so silk touch on here. And there we go. And it's night right now, which means that all the bees are in their hives. So that means that I'm guaranteed to get three bees in one hive. There we go. That's the first one. That's the second. The third. Fourth. And there we have the last one. So now that we have five of them, let's get to breeding some bees. Anyway, whilst I breed up these bees, enjoy a clip of me and Quiff hanging out together. I found an I spawned ice. on you. <laughs> never what? mind, never mind. Yeah, just, just. You, I, you, you spawned built, on you, my... you built a really nice house. I know. Yeah. It took also. It also took me like a freaking long time. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the? I, okay, it's not that bad, but like, <laughs> can you like, can you like break oh, there it? Because I can't do. I can't break it. Look! Look! I can do some magic. Yo! What the <laughs> hell? Uh. Let's talk about I... the elephant in the house for a sec. <laughs> Can you like break it? Do you want to see me MLG? Yeah, of course I do. Oh no! 
<laughs> I, I, the water is down here. I placed the water. I don't see any water. Look, watch me question. do an MOG. Look, look at me. I'm gonna do an MOG. Woo! Where the hell did you get that water? Oh, from up there. Hmm. This is a nice place. Wee. It has some lava. Are you gonna rub it in my face that I don't have enchants yet? No. Well, guess what? I'm working on a full enchantment table. Beat that. You need some bookshelves? I can get you some bookshelves for a few emeralds. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now, this should be more than enough bees. And in the meantime, I've gotten quite a few pieces of honeycomb. But before we wax all of the buildings, I think we need to make a house for these bees. Or just a nice place. So, I imagine this place having like a small lodge here. And then... Maybe a little garden with a few beehives in it. But that will mean I first have to clear all of this out. This looks way better already. So now that that's done, let's crack on with the time lapse. There we have it, and I think it turned out quite amazing. And in between episodes, I'll sort out the finer details because as you can see, it can get a bit more path here maybe, and some greenery, but that'll definitely come. And then we also have this place right here. But as you can see, the beehives are missing. So I got them over here and let's place them down right now. And it makes this place feel way more alive. But now, of course, it's time to wax all the copper here and make it look way more orange again. Wow, so that took like quite a long time. But now it's done, and I think my base looks way better. But I think that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So if you liked the video, please do leave a like, and maybe even subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye! I just came from the bee farm, and... What the heck? What happened to you, Enderman? What?